one. Welcome to Real Hospitality Live. Today, I have the world famous Christy Barber on with me from Avondale Equipment in Ontario. Christy is a member of Real Hospitality Network, is a entrepreneur. Uh, really, if, if you want to know what's going on in the restaurant industry right now, what's going on with equipment, what's happening in, the, in servicing, what's the future of what we can do and how we can adapt our organizations in hotels, restaurants, you name it, anything that we're doing with food service, Christy is your gal. Christy, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. Absolutely. We, happy to be here. You know what? We've Everybody who we've had conversations with uh, about you and your team and your organization of what you guys are doing and your, and your story about your business, everybody is stoked that we have brought you into our network and that we're working with you. And it's so much fun to be able to have you on. We had a great pre-show yesterday. I always talk about the pre-show yesterday because we've, it, it's, we always get into these great conversations that always don't always <laughs> get tossed into the show, right? Now, right, right. you've had Avondale for 11 years. And it, so what's your, what's your origin story? How did, how, did, how did you end up getting into working with equipment and restaurants, et cetera, et cetera? Right. So we're in our 11th year of business. Um, so it's actually, we're a sister company to uh, Barber's Restaurant Equipment Repair. So we're a complementary company to them. We do the sales side and they do the service side. And my dad started Barber's uh, Restaurant Equipment Repair in 1970. And, uh, and it's still operating. Uh, operating. It's still busy in Hamilton. Um, and so we work complementary to them. They do the service parts and warranty stuff and we do all the sales. So in um, 20. 10, my dad decided he wanted to get out of the service and wanted to get into sales. And he'd always sold used equipment. Um, we had used equipment everywhere in that little shop. It was, it was kind of overflowing. <laughs> so uh, we needed a warehouse. And so uh, one block over, which is on Avondale Street, um, we, there was a warehouse and we're tucked into a little um, uh, residential neighborhood and we've got uh, 11,000 square feet. So he, he picked up the warehouse and so that's where we operate out of now. Um, so we, we started with used equipment. So that was something that my dad had always done. Uh, he loved to rebuild. He loved to, you know, refurbish equipment. That, that, was, his, that was his thing. So, um, so we've always done that. And then when I, like I came on board six months in. So uh, we opened the doors to Avondale January 1st, 2010. Uh, I, had, uh, I was actually living in Vancouver and making plans to come home. And so we, uh, I joined my dad, so it was the two of us. And uh, then we had a, a small crew at the time, uh, two guys in the warehouse and my dad and I. And, uh, and then, so over time, we've, uh, we've gone into new equipment. Um, that was pretty fast. So within the first year or two, we started with some new equipment. And then we got into, uh, we still, uh, still did the used. And then we got into small wares and tabletop, ventilation, exhaust equipment, and all of that. So, um, so that, that was kind of an expansion um, the first five years. And then um, we lost my dad in 2016. Um, so he, he was diagnosed with cancer and, and he passed away in November that year. Um, so we, we carry on and we are doing our thing and, and I've got an awesome team now. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm stuck in the back office now and my team's out front doing their thing. <laughs> Well, even in the last 12 months, a lot has changed. I mean, the, 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 the front showroom maybe is not necessarily as busy, but I mean, you guys are Ontario based, but you're not Ontario centric, which is great because the, if, yes. if, if people are looking to get your advice and get your expertise and to, and to see what, what products you have to offer, they can go right to your website and you guys are doing drop shipping too, right? Yeah. Which is awesome. What's so? I mean, we we all we all know everything went to hell in a handbasket for the last year, but that has changed. That has caused us and as an industry to really adapt, and and I think also it's caused operators to look for something new. I mean, what are some of the things that that you guys are recommending as as far as uh, you know more more efficient equipment or or smaller footprint or if somebody's still crazy enough to go into our business. Uh, what kind of things are, are kind of new out there that, that we could be looking at that, that we've been forced to really go into, you know, go that way? Yeah, 
there's there's all kinds of different stuff that's happened in the past year. And yeah, it has gone a little hell in a handbasket, but um, a lot of the manufacturers are doing are doing new new things. So mm-hmm. even yesterday or, or the day before, one of my manufacturers um, they came out and they they came out with a new small pizza oven. That's the big thing right now, right? Pizza ovens. Right. But the deck ovens and the conveyor ovens and and those giant you know pizza pizza ovens aren't the thing anymore because right. people need to be able to pivot. Um, so, you know, the small uh, Turbo Chef pizza ovens, um, this one here happens to be a, a Forza oven. It's an STI and it's stackable. So you can do proteins in it. You can do pizza in it and you, it, it's literally, it's, it's small. It's a, up to a 16 inch pie, but it can do pretty much anything. Um, and it can, it's counter, but you can go right on the counter an existing counter that you already have. Right. Um, you know, the combi ovens, um, they, this is their time to shine. Um, you know, they have, uh, like rationales just come out with their new models, their new, I, um, their new iCombi pros and classics. And they even launched a new product this year, uh, which is the iVario. It's actually, um, it's a pretty cool piece of equipment. It can be anything from a fryer to a steam, uh, you can uh, do uh, like a tilt skillet, um, soups, you can do proteins in it. You can do, you name it, it does it. Um, and it's a really cool piece of equipment. It's a multi-function piece of equipment. And that's the thing, like the, the horizontal lines are becoming, a, are, are becoming very expensive to make now, Ooh, yeah. um, you know, with the hoods and everything that goes along with, with putting in a hood. Um, so, you know, thinking outside the box is something that a lot of these manufacturers are recognizing because the real estate is expensive and putting in a hood is even more so. Well, if putting in a hood it not only is expensive, but also the all the hoops that you have to jump through to make sure that it can go into the building that you want to be in, and you have Absolutely. to go through the city, et cetera, et cetera. And, and when we talk about uh, uh, combis and and Turbo Chef style ovens, I mean that's the that's the future for small footprint. Uh, if you if you're an organization that that doesn't need to have a uh, a dining room, or if you're doing a ghost kitchen concept, or even a, a just a traditional pickup uh, and delivery concept where you know, people can still come in, not like a ghost kitchen, but you are, you're, you're able to really make that change in the way that your operation works. And the, and that saves you your space. It saves you your, your overhead saves you all the money that it costs you to run that damn fan up. That's, that's the way things are going. That's super cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So we actually have a test and demo kitchen here. Um, and the new iCombi is going to be coming in shortly. We just sold our, uh, our, our last older model. Yes. Um, so the new iCombi will be coming in shortly. And we're, we're considering putting in the iVario too, just to have it here so people can see it. Because it's one of those things. you gotta, you got to see it, you know, feel in touch and, and see it. I'm always, I'm always blown away by all of the ideas that people come up with, all the things they can do with the combis. Uh, I, I was at Restaurants Canada show last year and, and saw a bunch of different demonstrations. And, and there was stuff there that I went, I never in my life would have ever thought to be able to use this thing for that. And, and, and how does it work? Maybe I don't want to know. I don't want to look behind the curtain and see the magic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's crazy. We use it here all the time. Yeah. Um, you know, when my dad was around too, we used to cook lunches here. Prime rib on Thursday. I was going to say, you could just use it to eat lunch. <laughs> exactly. Fantastic. So you've got the new one coming. People can come and see it. Now, are you guys doing by appointment only or people can people still come in? I know you're Ontario, so things are a little bit tighter there. Um, we're, we've, we've opened up in Western Canada, so hopefully that will bleed off into, into you guys in the East as well soon. Yeah, yeah we're, so we're open. Um, our, our office staff is here. Um, we, we do ask for appointment only, um, you know, if, if, if possible, but you know, people are always welcome to come in. Um, we ask the typical questions, please wear a mask and, and enjoy. We've got 10,000 square feet to wander around. Well, what's for lunch is what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to get the new one in first. <laughs> right? Exactly. The, um, I, I love the turbo chef concept too. I mean, that's, that, that that's really, really cool. Cause if you've got a, a space, that's even just a, a, a size of a cafe, or if you have a cafe or a convenience store and you want to do pizza and you want to do uh, you want to have that add value to your menu, then that's absolutely key. You can pick one of those up for a reasonable price. And all you have exactly. to do is get the electrician to set it up so that you can plug it in. I mean, that's, yeah. uh, that's really, really forward thinking. And it, it, 
and having go and going back as long as I go back and as long as uh, as long as you've been in the business, I'm sure that you've seen all of these things start to progress. And now now it's 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 really cool to see that change in flow, right? As 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 far as how people are thinking about where things are going. Well, yeah, and, and you know, people like things have, have changed in the past year. You know, you're not working multiple stations anymore, or there's less people in the kitchen. So you, you have to have these pieces of equipment to do multiple things. Um, it, it's just going to be that way. It's also, I mean, we have we have lots of clients who are who are uh, doing ghost kitchens. Actually, Ghost Kitchen Brands is one of our uh, one of our members as well. And I mean, the when we think about their concept and and people who are watching that all that own a concept, they want to maybe put a, a separate kitchen somewhere on the other side of town or somewhere else in the province to to increase their their brand awareness. And this is this stuff is, is really where it's at. I mean, you, you reduce your labor, which of course is huge. If you look at your numbers and then you reduce your food costs, you reduce your footprint, you reduce your everything, right? Now we, yeah, absolutely. It, it's funny. I, I love talking. I love talking equipment and technology. It te- the technology part, I'm always like, okay, if, if, if I don't understand it, then, then I don't want to use it. But when we actually, before we just came on, we were talking about uh, headsets and you guys are working with, uh, with Motorola as well, you have, have those. And I was joking that with uh, it had had when I was working the lines, had I had a, a little ear thing in my ear like the FBI, and, and somebody out, uh, out out at the front was able to tell me something when I was on the on the line, rather than saying Chef May I, Chef May I, Chef May I, it would have it would have made my life completely different and probably half as stressful. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Like it's it's a tough game. It really is. You know, it's it's it's. It is, it's a, it's a challenging industry. So what we've done is um, part of what we want to do is, is problem solve for people in general. Um, you know, when we're putting in a kitchen, whether it is a brand new build or a retrofit or just even just a fryer they might need, like whatever it might be, our goal is to help you problem solve. And so what we've done over the past year, yeah, we got into PPE. Yeah, we got into the barriers. We did all that stuff. But what we also did too, is we started to look at other partners. So you know, we're, we're doing an, uh, an Enbridge discount program with Enbridge and, and Clear Results. And what that does is actually gives people up to $750 off the invoice price of a piece of equipment. So not only is the cost down on a, on a good piece of equipment, because they're, they're all Energy Star equipment, right. but if you're replacing an older piece of equipment, you're, you're saving operating costs too. Like you're not, it's not just off invoice price, it's, it's operating costs. Like some of these fridges, you know, back in the day, and these fridges are still around, you're talking 18, you know, 15 or 18 amps, like they're on a 30 amp plug. So, you know, it's in their, their, their energy hogs. So now, you know, there's a lot of equipment out there now that's all energy star rated. And there's a significant cost savings on the purchase and on back end on the operating costs. So we've done that. Um, we've also even started working with barter pay, um, where we, you know, we're able to, to work with people, um, in the industry, uh, or or not, but in the industry that um, that might need equipment, you know, we we actually just did uh, three sales today. I just got in, um, three sales on barter pay today on equipment that I have in stock that somebody might need. So you know, we're we're thinking outside the box that way. Um, like you said with the Motorola, you know, that's something else. Communication is huge right now. It's yep. it's it's you know, people have to kind of be stationary. If you're the hostess, you're the hostess. Um, if you're in the kitchen, you're in the kitchen. Uh, there's not a lot of movement. You know, you're kind of stuck in one spot. So you have to be able to communicate properly. So that's another, you know, another partner that we're, we're working with. And even uh, Touch Bistro and, and being able to do reports and make your life easier for your staff. So that's sort of what we've done in the last year, start to think and, and partner with these groups um, to be able to offer everything. Like we're not just equipment, um, you know, new or used. We're, we're more than that. We're, we're helping you solve some problems. Now you you have different. I mean, you guys have a little bit of everything. I mean, not just not just equipment and not just technology, but I mean, you're you're partnering with different organizations, different brands. You've got these these this this uh, Enbridge rebate program. I mean, people can really uh, get themselves kitted out. You guys do installation as well, and, and the sister company okay. does service. I mean, if if people in your area are uh, needing equipment, needing their equipment addressed, needing advice on what's the right piece to go in, what's going to fit 
what's going to make sense for my budget, what's going to make sense for my space, or if I'm planning to, to adapt, maybe take a look and see what you have and see if there's something is see, see what the best case is moving forward. And Absolutely. And oh yeah, no, we, 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 it is important. And that's why we do site visits. Um, you know, we, we do, my guys go in pretty much on 80% of the jobs we do um, at, at a minimum because we, you know, you, you, it's not always, somebody will come to me and say, I need a fryer. Well, okay, what size? Do you have the gas line for it? Do you need electrical? Like there's a lot of questions to it. So in, in 80% of the stuff that we do, we go do a site visit. And if we can't do it physically, like geographically, we do this, <laughs> you know, Perfect. we do, we do FaceTime, we do Zoom calls. Um, you know, our guys are really knowledgeable and they've, they've done it a long time. So they're happy to, to see what you've got and see what will work for your location. And, and we go from there. I've, I've, I've worked with organizations and, and bought lots of equipment over the years where it's where we buy the equipment and then come to find out that we've got to go pick it up and, and then get it brought and then get it installed, which is three different conversations and, and yep. never on the same day can this happen. <laughs> right. Nope. This is, no. it, I, I actually ex exhaled a sigh of relief to hear that, that you guys do all of that all at the same time. Yeah. Absolutely. Like next week, uh, we're actually doing two large kettles, two 60 gallon kettles. Um, my guys are going in, they're taking the, the existing equipment out. Uh, we're moving those out. And then I've got Barbara's guys coming in and they're doing the gas line work and reinstalling the kettles. So, and it's going to happen in one day. That's awesome. Well, that's, I mean, for the, the downtime alone and, and just the stress of the operator and the, and, and the kitchen manager and everybody to be able to get that done and to move forward is priceless and is as far as i'm concerned you can you can just get on with it i've got uh, a, a question exactly. from yeah. uh linda who pop who popped up on here uh linda is uh, is actually a member of real hospitality network from global pay uh and, hello do you find that new restaurants are opening up with a smaller footprint due to the pandemic are you seeing that yeah absolutely um you know some of my customers are um, are some of our new customers are, are opening up and they're doing takeout. So takeout now is, it, it's a, it's a solid part of their business. Um, you know, before I think takeout was more of a, an afterthought, um, you know, they had their sit down restaurant and yeah, they could take out, but the, now they have this as a component. Um, so for sure, the footprint is definitely, um, shrinking, uh, retail, you know, commercial re real estate right now, commercial lease rates, they're probably dropping, but, um, you know, at the same time too, it, there's operating costs to everything. So, um, so yeah, for sure. The footprints are smaller and the equipment is, is reacting accordingly. You know, what I'm finding is that it, it's, we, we, we go out often enough, probably once a week at least. And mm -hmm. it's, it feels like so much more of a treat now because here in Alberta, where we are, uh, you can go in and sit. And, and the restrictions are, are pretty limited. So you can go in, most of the places have got dividers in between the, in the table, between the tables and whatnot, but it, we, we still order in, uh, but we order in more than we used to. And it just feels like more of a, a treat to be more of a, more an event, more of a celebration uh, to go out uh, to the restaurant now yeah. and, and sit down. And I mean, I think that that's, I think that's changed consumers thought process as well. We've had a year of not being able to do it. And now we might not do it as often, but it sure means more. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And here too, you know, we're starting to open up as well. And I find the same thing. You know, I'm, I've been out twice since the, the lockdown just ended and it was such a treat to sit down and have a glass of wine and a beautiful meal. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not, it, it's not what we used to have, but, but it, but it's certainly, it is certainly uh, appreciated now that we can kind of come back to it. Now, I, I want to before we before we go, Christy, I, I want to touch base on on the things that you guys are doing to um, talk about what you're doing. I mean, you've got a program called "I Didn't Know You Did That" on Instagram, and that that's, that's fun. I, and thank you for giving us thank a you. shout out on there too. Uh, how how did that get going? And and tell me what you're doing with it. Yeah. It was actually a conversation I was having, I was having with um, my, my son, Michelle. 
and she's fabulous. And uh, so what we did was uh, we were having a chit chat and we're 11 years old now and we like, we're a little off the beaten path. So we're not in a, a commercial area. So we in a bit of a residential area, but um, so people are constantly still saying, oh, I didn't know you did that. Or they just come to us for fryers, ranges, refrigeration, and they don't know that we also do small wares or whatnot. So we, we were having a chit chat one day about how can we get people to know what else we do. And, um, and it, it kind of came from there. We just decided we were going to do a, I didn't know you did that um, IGTV spot. And everybody is, all my team is going to be a, uh, going to be highlighted and everybody's going to, you know, do their thing and what, uh, what we do and what we're all about. And there's at least 24 episodes. So there's a lot more to come. Oh, good. I, I'm looking forward to the other ones. Now, this actually ties in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> somebody put a, a, a question up. Uh, they're anonymous, but uh, I've heard so much about Avondale going that extra mile. Are they really a one-stop shop for hospitality needs and in institutions and schools? Do they work outside of the greater Toronto, Hamilton area? Absolutely. Yeah. So our currently the greater Toronto, Hamilton area, um, we do the Golden Horseshoe. Um, so that is a primary area for us. However, uh, we've done projects um, out east. We've done projects in Ottawa, Sarnia. We've done uh, a project in uh, Saskatchewan. Um, dropship is definitely an option uh, outside of our geographical region. Um, but we're here, we're here to help too. So if, you know, you're outside our geographical region and, and we can do a, a, you know, Zoom call, we can help you. Um, and that's, and that's definitely something that we, we've always done. Um, and in terms of facilitating a project, we can drop ship to your door or we can bring it all here. We can, um, we can skid it, prep it, get it ready to go. And then we can ship it out to you. And then we also have our own trucks as well. So, um, you know, there's a multitude of ways that we can work. And we, we are a one-stop shop. We do everything from exhaust systems. We work with engineers. We work with plumbers, electricians, all the standard trades. Um, so we, we have partnerships that we've built right from exhaust systems down to tabletop and forks and knives. I think the, when you talk about going to the webpage and doing the drop shipping, one key thing is that you guys can put, if, if I happen to be ordering a piece of equipment, I can go to the quote cart and I can then actually speak to somebody about that particular product because maybe that's a product that I think I might need, but it might not necessarily be the product that I actually need. And then, and, and I think 100%. the good thing is that somebody gets an opportunity to talk to one of your people who are experts in the equipment and know what other equipment is available. So to be able to, to right. say, because somebody might call and say, you know, I, what I want is this big massive deck oven uh, because I used to work in a place, you know, 15 years ago, and this is the kind that they used to have. And it's, it takes, it takes up more, you know, more room than a Volkswagen. Right. Well, this is the opportunity for, for somebody to, to get educated on the new pieces of equipment that are out that are more efficient and things like the, the Enbridge, Enbridge program so that you can really be steered in the right way. Absolutely. And that's what we're about. We're, we're there to solve problems. Like one of our clients came to us, I think we posted it on social yesterday. One of our clients came to us and they had a closet and they wanted a walk-in cooler. So we made it happen. And that's, you know, so they come to us with a problem and, or a want or a need or whatever it is that, you know, people come to us with a hundred different reasons. Um, but what we're trying to do is solve their problem, whatever that might be. We're, get, we're getting some questions up here, which is fun. Uh, do you help restaurants or commercial kitchen owners with design if they need aid in what in, oh, in, in what goes where? Yes. Uh, and what is the <laughs> what what is best to be using for equipment? So I, I guess that that I, I I slowed that down, but but where and what is best, and and do you help them with the with the actual design of the space? Because again, I think that goes Absolutely. back to, I'd like to have all of these things in, and, and when you, when you do the measurement, that doesn't all fit here. <laughs> it doesn't fit. No. Uh, yeah. I often say, I wish we sold buttons because we'd have a lot more room. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we do. We certainly do design. We do layout. We do consultation on um, workflow. Um, that's all something that's part of our service. Um, we, you know, it, 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 
planning ahead in this industry, um, it doesn't, it doesn't always happen. So, um, you know, sometimes we have, that's why we want to talk to you. We want to work with you. We want to have a conversation about what you're looking to achieve so that we can, because, you know, just like I said, that pizza oven came out two days ago. So things are constantly evolving um, and we get notified constantly on new and, and improved product. So, you know, being able to, to have a conversation with you first about what you're looking to achieve and then about, okay, where's your space? What do you have to work with? Um, now let's put those two things together, your space, what you're looking to achieve. And that's what, we're, that's what we do all day, every day. Now we do have a, a question from Facebook. Uh, what are your thoughts on buying used versus new equipment? So um, there is still um, good used equipment out there on the market, um, but there's certain pieces. So not everything. Um, there are certain pieces that I highly recommend people going new on. Um, three of them in particular are fryers, deep fryers, uh, refrigeration in general, uh, and dishwashers. Um, they, those three things are huge in terms of how well they were maintained, um, in terms of what, how they'll operate if you buy them loose. So generally we sell those new. Uh, or sorry, yeah, generally we sell those new, but on the flip side, there are still uh, good pieces of equipment that are worth buying used. Um, you know, a good charbroiler, it's, it's easy to rebuild. You know, we can rebuild it. All of our used equipment comes with a 90 day warranty. Um, so we definitely see value in used equipment, but there's certain pieces that new is the way to go. There we go. And you know what? It I wasn't thinking that until you said it about refrigeration because so many times we've had people come in to, to repair uh, even even a, a piece of equipment that we thought was was not that old, but come to find out wasn't as well maintained as we thought it was. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Refrigeration is is killer. Like, you know, and, and it's it can be an innocent mistake, something that is um, used to be a merchandiser that doesn't have a coated coil, doesn't have certain features that that don't make it a good kitchen cooler that yeah. happens to be in their kitchen and over time it just you know it, it degrades that's all well i mean that's it, unless unless somebody has a good maintenance program that's something that that you don't even think about uh and I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like owner number one going to owner number two, because you can you could you could definitely go, OK, well, I'm this busy. How busy were they? And did they look exactly. after this piece of equipment that I'm going to buy used? So uh, so hopefully that answers your question. Uh, that was Alan Grant uh, on Facebook who posted that up. And was there another one, Robbie? Oh, there we go. Uh, other than those pizza ovens and combis, what's new on the horizon for the industry? Well, we're, we're, like I said, we're constantly getting things. So, um, you know, people are still sending out, um, you know, the PPE stuff, that's still important. Right. Um, but in terms of equipment, um, you know, the, the, they're, they're, they are doing new pieces of equipment, like that iVario is a completely new concept. Right. But um, what people are also doing too, too is um, they're, they're improving their equipment. So refrigeration has changed. You know, we're definitely no longer in those 15, 18 amp refrigerators. There's some places now that are two, two amps, you know, because they're, the, the energy efficiency now is, the equipment is catching up to the, to the ability now. So um, that's really where I'm seeing improvements. You know, the gas ranges are still out there. The charbroilers are still out there. And people are definitely still buying them and using them and they have their place. But really right now it's about, um, it's operating costs are huge. So right now people are, are revamping um, their equipment. And, and one other thing that I didn't mention though that also is becoming very popular is induction. Um, I should mention that too, because induction ranges, even induction walk stations, believe it or not. Um, you know, like induction is becoming huge and it is also extremely energy efficient. Well, it, I, I started using induction gotta be 2003 with the walks mm -hmm. and blow your mind. I, mm -hmm. I used to show that you can boil an ice cube in under 20 seconds mm -hmm. and then, and then stick and then touch it with your hand. As right. long as you're not wearing a ring. <laughs> right. <laughs> <It's badly. laughs> it does. It really does. Fantastic. Yeah, but the, yeah, the induction burners are, are getting smaller, they're getting more powerful, but they're also, you know, they don't heat up your kitchen, you're not standing behind the line sweating, 
you know, it's right. that those sorts of things are coming down the pipe about making the job easier. And they don't take up as much real estate in your, exactly. in your space, yeah. which is awesome. Christy, thanks so much for coming on. It's awesome to talk shop with you. We could do this all afternoon. Absolutely. And <laughs> thank you everybody for posting your questions. Um, we are live today on LinkedIn, Periscope, YouTube, Facebook, you name it. If you are watching us on here live uh, and you want to leave a question after the fact, then pop that in there. Uh, Christy and I are going to be going back and forth over the next day or so, going in and answering questions. Uh, if you happen to be on LinkedIn uh, and watching us live, make sure you, do, you go over, follow Christy, uh, make a friend of her. Uh, what, a, what a wealth of knowledge uh, to be able to tap into. I mean, it, it, even for me, now I've got questions I'm going to call after, after the works, I'm going to go <laughs> back and say, what about this? What about that? I have clients who need these things. <laughs> well, we're here to help. That's what we do. We problem solve every day. That's what we do. We, we're here to help. If you have a problem or a challenge or an idea, that's please bring it to us. Awesome. My guest today has been Christy Barber from Avondale Equipment in Southern Ontario, but just Southern Ontario based she can deliver anywhere in Canada, drop ship it to you, give you the advice you need. Her team can walk you through this. And what a, a, a great opportunity to talk with somebody who has who knows this business inside and out, has seen it uh, expand and it challenges and to be able to uh, help you out with, with things that maybe, maybe the questions that uh, answer questions you didn't know you had yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> thank Happy you so to. much for joining me today christy thank you so much for having me really appreciate it take care you too